Welcome back to Tour Adventures. This is Season 5, Episode 9. The False Witness. Mike Mercado has just arrived at his job. Good morning, sir. I heard that you want to talk to me. I heard that you deleted some files that you did not get permission for. We need to talk about this. Hi, Mike. Oh, what's wrong, Mike? Well, my boss called me to a meeting in his office today. It was a surprise to me, but he believes I deleted some files that I didn't. Rina, I know 100% that I did not delete those files. Can't they be recovered? I mean, I'm sure they were backed up, right? They were, but somebody deleted those too. And he thinks that I am the one who did it. I don't know why. Oh, no. Well, we really need to seek the father about this. I'm fasting tonight, so you and Kate can eat. I don't want anything. Later that day. Mom, can I go to Amy's tomorrow? I don't see why you can't go. Um... You might want to ask your father first and see what he says, too. Kate, thanks. Oh, hey, Dad, there you are. Um, can I ask you a question? Yes. Mom said I could go to Amy's house tomorrow, but she said I had to ask you first, so is it okay? I don't know, Kate. I, I'm so focused on what is going on at work. Right now, I really don't know. Well, how about if I come back and ask you in a few minutes? Will that give you enough time? Well, I don't want to leave the house until Monday when I have to go back to work. So, is she going to come pick you up and bring you home? Um, I can see if she can. It uh, shouldn't be a problem. Well, you better go find out, Kate. Oh, and Dad, I'm really sorry you're going through this problem. <sighs> I know you would never do something like that. So, I'm sure Yehovah will help you figure out what to do. Oh, thank you, Miha. All right, well, I'll go ask and then I'll let you know. All right. Heavenly Father, your laws tell us not to be a false witness, but Mike's accuser doesn't claim to follow your law. I just ask that you will expose the one who did this or reveal what happened so your son will no longer be blamed for something he didn't do. Amen, amen. Thank you, my love. I feel much better. And now I believe... That whatever happens is Jehovah's will, and I will accept it. Mwah. Let me know how it goes as soon as you can. I'll continue to pray for you. Monday morning. Sir, I am being falsely accused of this. I have no reason to do this. If I did something like this, I would be bringing shame to my God. And I take my God's laws and his reputation seriously. I'm willing to swear to you before my God that I am innocent of this accusation. Well, I believe you, Mike. Ken, tell Jacob to come in now. Have a seat, Jacob. We need to talk. Mike, you can go out to the lunchroom. Amazing news. 
What is it, Mike? <sighs> My love, Jacob confessed that he never saw me deleting those files. Really? He said he believed it was me because he saw me deleting some files, but it was not those files. The files I deleted were duplicate files and they were already backed up to the database. My boss had already given me permission to delete those files. Oh, thank you, Hova. Oh, praise God. Oh, thank you. He was, he is, he will be. For letting truth be made known. Amen, amen. I'll be home early today. See you soon. Great. Do you think we could eat dinner in town, since we'll be there for Hannah's doctor's appointment? in Deuteronomy chapter 5 is this something about not bearing false witness against your neighbor yes that is correct these laws are what we agree to when we enter into a covenant with Yod Vav Shalom and thanks for listening 